casting. So like do have a casting block that'll make like, you know, a hundred matchbox cars at a time. I mean, we just make that a real big. Yeah, I mean, we have the cathedral of casting back there. So yeah, let's do that. I mean, like, let's, let's see what is the limit of physics of how big can a casting machine be? Let's find out. If you still think the EV race is about battery capacity or driving range, you've already lost. The game now is production speed, and Tesla is leading it by casting an entire vehicle frame in just 3.75 seconds. At Giga Texas, the 50,000-ton Giga Press is producing a complete cyber cab or Model 2 body in under 4 seconds. In the near future, that same technology will bring down the production time of the Model Y and Cybertruck to under 6 seconds and drive the dream of mass-market self-driving cars rolling on the streets as early as next year. While competitors are still welding together hundreds of parts, Tesla's fully automated line operates inside a no-human zone, where robots and AI control every step, from mold oiling to x-ray inspection. So what does a Tesla built in 3.75 seconds look like? Is it real or just another marketing number? Welcome to Tesla Car World. How is the 3.75 second EV production process happening? Like real fast. <laughs> and then um, I guess maybe we need to like just get even bigger casting machines. Sure, why not? Let's 50,000 tons. At the heart of Tesla's most advanced Giga Texas, a full electric vehicle body is being produced every 3.75 seconds. If you step inside Giga Texas or peek into the production lines of Tesla's next generation Model 2 and Cybercab, it becomes evident that this isn't marketing fluff. It's automation in a way no automaker has dared before. What we're seeing is the emergence of a new manufacturing paradigm, one where a vehicle's body isn't constructed through assembly, but rather born whole from a mold. The 3.75 second casting cycle may be Tesla's most staggering achievement yet because it fundamentally alters the rhythm of the automotive industry. It's not just about speed, it's about simplicity. When you reduce the number of parts in a vehicle by 60 to 70 percent, you slash not just cost, but also opportunity for failure, maintenance, and warranty issues. You also redesign logistics, storage, shipping, and repair. Elon Musk has long compared Tesla's next-generation production lines to giant toy factories, and that metaphor isn't just poetic, it's literally what's happening. The company is turning die-casting technology, once reserved for small-scale metal toys, into the core of global EV production. Each time a GigaPress cycles, five Model 2 or CyberCab chassis may roll out. In a week, one facility could theoretically produce hundreds of thousands of vehicles with fewer workers, smaller footprints, and tighter integration than any automotive plant in history. The foundation of this breakthrough is the 50,000-ton GigaPress, the most powerful die-casting machine ever deployed in automotive history. While the earlier 6,000-ton and 9,000-ton presses revolutionized production, by consolidating 70 to 100 parts into a single aluminum casting. The new 50,000-ton beast operates on another level entirely. Using a refined aluminum alloy heated to nearly 850 degrees Celsius, the press injects molten metal into an enormous mold shaped like the underbody of a Tesla. And it does so under immense pressure, enough to compress a steel container flat in a second. The speed at which this press operates isn't just fast, it's borderline shocking. From metal injection to solidification, extraction, and restart, the entire process runs like a precisely timed orchestra of heat, pressure, and automation. Watching this machine in action is like observing an industrial ballet, but you won't see any human dancers on stage. The Giga Press and its surrounding zone are completely off limits to workers. This no human zone is a necessity more than a luxury. The environment is hostile. Molten metal, extreme heat, hydraulic pressure, and high-speed moving parts create a space where a human hand simply doesn't belong. Instead, everything is done by machines. Robots monitor the process from all angles while human technicians sit behind reinforced glass, managing operations via screens, sensors, and AI-driven diagnostics. This isn't the factory floor of Detroit in the 1950s. 
It's more like a robotics lab fused with a space launch control room. What truly transforms this setup from remarkable to revolutionary is how Tesla combines megacasting with three deprinted sand cores, an approach that makes it possible to create hollow sections within the cast aluminum structure. These cores are temporary molds printed from sand using BinderJet 3D printers. They're designed to create internal pathways for wiring, cooling tubes, and structural support channels. During the casting process, the molten aluminum flows around these sand cores, solidifies, and then the sand is removed, leaving behind a clean, hollow internal architecture. This method, borrowed from aerospace and precision engineering, allows Tesla to integrate far more complexity and functionality into each cast body section, while eliminating the need for dozens of post-assembly components. By removing traditional assembly steps and replacing them with integrated casting, Tesla is effectively building cars more like smartphones, pre-assembled, minimalistic, and designed from the ground up for robotic construction. Every cycle of the Giga Press becomes a closed loop. The mold is lubricated with soybean oil, vacuumed to eliminate air pockets, injected with metal, rapidly cooled via conformal channels that follow the exact curves of the cast, and then opened to eject the part, still glowing from heat. A robotic arm transfers the fresh casting to a cooling bath, trims the flash metal, inspects for defects using X-ray and AI visual recognition, and then begins again. The entire cycle can complete in under four seconds. If one factory runs two presses simultaneously, Tesla could theoretically produce a completed car body every 1.875 seconds. It's no longer just mass production, it's hyper-production. But as with any lao wow for ao war a wow wan tim wan in the wan na ing ao wow al di na wao war there are technical hurdles die casting at this scale requires pinpoint thermodynamic control if the aluminum is injected too quickly air bubbles form weakening the structure too slowly and the metal begins to cool before filling the mold resulting in incomplete or deformed castings the molds themselves are subject to intense thermal stress, cycling between 850 degrees and near-freezing water sprays hundreds of times per hour. Designing and maintaining these molds becomes a full-time engineering discipline in itself. And then there's the challenge of removing the three deprinted sand cores cleanly, especially for deeply embedded passages. And for all its challenges, Tesla seems committed to scaling this method further even as competitors like Hyundai, Volvo, and GM are slowly adopting their own 16,000-ton casting presses, Tesla has moved far ahead. The transition from manually welded frames to single-shot aluminum architectures mirrors the shift from analog to digital. Not gradual, but explosive. So, why is Tesla building entire cars in just 3.75 seconds? Tesla's journey with gigacasting began with the 6,000-ton Gigapress, which revolutionized production by replacing over 70 welded parts in the Model Y's rear chassis with a single, solid, aluminum piece. This alone was considered radical in the automotive world. Then came the 9,000-ton version for the Cybertruck, handling even larger, more complex components. But today, the spotlight belongs to something far more disruptive the 50,000-ton Giga Press. This colossal machine is not only capable of producing multiple car frames simultaneously, it's doing so with record-breaking speed. What once took 70 seconds at casting now takes less than 5 seconds. According to the latest reports from Tesla Insiders, early production trials of the CyberCab chassis at Giga Texas have achieved complete chassis casting in as little as 3.75 seconds. Yes, less than four seconds from molten aluminum to a fully formed car body. At first, even Musk admitted it sounded crazy, but the numbers are real. Tesla's new production line is no longer just fast. It's redefining the tempo of modern manufacturing. One gigapress can now produce over 900 frames per hour, a staggering leap forward compared to traditional body and white lines. This makes Tesla's system the fastest high-volume EV production method on the planet potentially doubling the output of even the most optimized competitors. 
So what makes this 50,000 ton press so different? The 50,000 tons refers to the amount of clamping force the machine applies, not its weight. That said, the press itself is still a monster, weighing more than 3,700 tons, over 8 million pounds, stretching over 130 feet in length, 40 feet in width, and towering over 30 feet tall, roughly the size of a four-story building laid on its side. Installing it takes several months and requires its own reinforced foundation, specially engineered to absorb both vibration and heat. Inside this machine, Tesla has developed a two-furnace system, one for melting aluminum at around 850 degrees Celsius, gas-fired, and another for maintaining the molten metal at optimal temperature, between 750 to 850 degrees Celsius, electrically heated. Before each cycle, nitrogen fills the holding chamber to prevent oxidation, while a combination of argon gas, rotary degassing, and fine filters removes impurities from the molten alloy. Then comes the mold preparation. A robotic sprayer coats the steel mold with a thin layer of soybean-based oil, around 35 millimeters per shot, which prevents sticking and ensures clean release. A high-speed piston, also lubricated with about 8 millimeters of oil, injects molten aluminum into the mold cavity. A vacuum is applied to remove any trapped air, enabling perfect filling at extremely high speed. Once the aluminum is inside the mold, it begins solidifying instantly. The mold is cooled using a conformal cooling system, where channels follow the exact contours of the part, allowing for faster, more uniform cooling. Within 3.75 seconds, the part reaches a solid state and is ejected from the mold at approximately 400 degrees Celsius. It then enters a cooling bath that quickly reduces its temperature to about 50 degrees Celsius. Robots trim excess metal and conduct real-time quality checks using X-ray imaging and AI-driven vision systems. Tesla's engineers have even designed a new generation of smart molds that monitor pressure, temperature, and flow rate inside the cavity in real time. These insights are used by AI to detect any deviation before a defect can form, allowing the system to adapt instantly. What does this mean in practical terms? Well, instead of using 1,000 robots to weld together hundreds of individual parts, Tesla now uses around 300 to handle everything, from raw metal to finished chassis. The result is lower production costs, less factory space, and much higher reliability. This one-shot casting approach also improves structural integrity. With fewer joints and welds, the vehicle's body is stronger, stiffer, and lighter. That translates into better crash performance, lower energy consumption, and increased driving range all key selling points for EV buyers. Critics once dismissed the idea as too ambitious. Many believed aluminum molds couldn't survive repeated cycles without wearing out faster than traditional steel dyes. Yet Tesla proved them wrong. The durability of these molds has been extended using advanced coatings and temperature cycling controls, making Geiger casting not just viable, but scalable. The Model 2 are the first vehicles fully designed around this manufacturing philosophy. Tesla aims to scale production of these models at unprecedented volumes, millions of units per year. With this speed and simplicity, producing a car body in under four seconds isn't just possible. It's happening right now. Each cast body flows directly into Tesla's Unbox assembly line an ultra-compact robot-managed area where battery packs, drive units, and interior modules are snapped into place like Lego blocks. There's no traditional assembly line here, no conveyor belts or teams of workers with pneumatic tools. Instead, it's a closed-loop system where metal, data, and electricity meet. How is Tesla 50,000-ton Gigapress technology being applied in other industries? At first glance, the idea of casting an entire machine in one shot seems exclusive to automotive innovation. But step back, and the same principles, modularity, reduced par count, rapid cycle times, and intelligent automation, start to make sense in places no one anticipated, including aviation, construction, and even heavy industrial manufacturing. So bring the Gigapress to Boeing.
In the aerospace industry, the fuselage and wings of commercial aircraft are still built using thousands of hand-fitted aluminum panels held together with millions of rivets. The process is not just expensive, it's fragile. Tiny imperfections or misalignments can create drag, reduce efficiency, or even compromise safety. Imagine instead an aircraft subframe cast in one shot, with built-in structural channels, wiring ducts, and reinforcements printed directly into the mold. No rivets, no panels, no misalignments. Just seamless, high-integrity aluminum or titanium alloy frameworks that could slash assembly time and improve aerodynamics. This line of thinking isn't hypothetical anymore. Recent patents in the aerospace industry suggest Boeing and others are now exploring monolithic casting and additive hybridization for select non-critical substructures. At the same time, NASA has begun testing large-scale metal casting techniques for modular satellite components and rocket engine parts. Whether directly inspired by Tesla or not, the direction is clear. Industries long reliant on hand-assembled structures are now flirting with the idea of massive integrated casting. Of course, the pressures and tolerances in aerospace are vastly different than in automotive applications. The metals must withstand extreme temperature variation, vibration, and fatigue over thousands of flight hours. And yet, this is precisely where three d printed sand cores and conformal cooling, technologies pioneered inside Tesla's Giga Press program, could find new applications. Instead of hundreds of machined or extruded parts bolted together, imagine Boeing casting large structural elements of a fuselage or engine housing with integrated wire harness channels and embedded mounts. It wouldn't just reduce weight and complexity, it would change how we imagine building things that fly. The construction sector, too, is beginning to take notice. At first, building and auto manufacturing seem worlds apart, but look closer, and the parallels become clear. Concrete molds, prefabricated steel frames, and increasingly modular building components all speak to the same desire. Simplify, integrate, accelerate. Imagine large-scale gigapresses adapted for casting building components out of composite metal alloys, preformed wall sections, utility channels, or integrated support beams. In a few years, we may look back at Tesla's gigapress the way we look at Ford's first moving assembly line, not just as a breakthrough in one factory, but as the starting point for a total reinvention of industrial manufacturing. For now, the gigapress is still mostly associated with the automotive world, but its influence is spreading quickly. And as more companies witness the impact it has had on Tesla's production speed, cost, and structural strength, the question is no longer, will they copy it? But how fast can they license it? And maybe that's the ultimate sign that Tesla's game is changing. It's no longer just about building electric cars faster. It's about selling the future of manufacturing itself. So if Tesla can build a car body in 3.75 seconds, why are other automakers still stuck welding hundreds of parts for hours? And if Tesla figured out how to print a car every few seconds, what excuse do legacy brands have for being this slow? Please share your opinion in the comments section below this video. Thanks for watching our video. If you want to explore more exciting information about Tesla EV or Tesla Bot, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Also, make sure to subscribe to Tesla Car World and turn on notifications so you never miss our latest videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.